the the pandemic in, in the anime industry, um, <clears throat> do we think it's going to have a significant, like, long-term impact on the anime industry, um, given the fact the anime industry is fairly conservative, not in the political sense? Um, what do you guys think? Do you think that's going to have a be a significant thing? I think, um, actually, there might be some positives that come out of this. One of the things that uh, the theater, those of you who don't know, I used to work in, in theater mm-hmm. before COVID. Um, one of the things that the theater community is actually doing right now is reassessing how they do things mm-hmm. and, and policies and processes. And, 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 and by that, I mean in how they actually stage a show, how they put, put mm-hmm. on a show. So I would imagine that COVID, in terms of anime and manga, you know, I think you made a good point about like less of them, be- a little bit less being made. Mm. I think you might find that there's probably going to be an uptick in in, in quality. Mm. I think you're going to find that people are going to be forced to make kind of harder but more sensible choices. I don't think you're going to mm. see a lot of a lot of you know. Oh, here's an idea. Um, let's do a anime on a guy who acts as Pikachu on a play. Let's see if that's the <laughs> yeah. no. so, so, but but no, seriously, it, it, you know, there might be some better choices that that are coming down the pike, or you know, um, just more interesting choices, or possibly, um, you know, might be that next stage of animation where. The CGI starts to improve because each budget is going to be more mm. focused on. You guys got to do a good thing here. You got to keep people interested. So mm-hmm. I, I, I think there's some positives, positives there. Mm-hmm. Well, I think um, we the dip we saw yeah. this season. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, quite honestly, when this when the pandemic started really wrapping you know, up to like high speed, there I got really really worried the delays and. That we're just going to see a smoldering ruin for all the fall in through the winter. (laughs) Right. And yeah, yeah, there was a dip. And then things started chugging along because like all of us with the pandemic, we've tried to do our best to work out what's the new normal. Mm -hmm. So trying to get the job done required sort of re-gearing and rethinking about Mm -hmm. what parts you could put in different places, how you could have, you know, interlocking function to continue to produce this stuff that people mm-hmm. still are working but they're just not working in the actual studio itself so i th- i'm hopeful and i don't I, know and but, you know what i mean totally go ahead sorry um and when i make a great point in the chat room demon slayer you know that movie has made all yeah. the money in the world under the pandemic so clearly you know it's not yeah. like folks aren't watching anime anymore right yeah and it, and right. i think with what Steve's saying, you know, you're you're going to see this ability to get the quality merchandise and the quality product out of this stuff, regardless of the pandemic. And now that they've sort of worked out the the kinks in the in the process, mm-hmm. it should once the pandemic lightens up and we move forward. I'm really hoping that we should see the industry itself with a new model of how to get this done. And it'll be more efficient, hopefully. It'll I'll pay better for all the uh, mm-hmm. individual mm-hmm. Uh, mangaka and the individual studios. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we'll move forward to a really great uh, process in the near future. Please, please. <laughs> yeah. I'm also going to exp- I'm, I'm gonna predict that we're going to see a, an increase in the number of non-Japanese anime productions. Right. If Korea, Vietnam, the Philippines are now integrated into yeah. this whole process, it's going to be a lot easier for them to make their own works and just produce them yeah. themselves. And think about that. Yeah, there's a whole other there's whole other industries, and Vietnam is really starting to jump in on it. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, maybe the, the the Korean part of the industry will also start making their own kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And you know, like you, you know what I mean. And, and and moving forward, so maybe they'll maybe by virtue of competition, they'll all bounce off of each other. Make yeah. good stuff. Well, we see point. Netflix and Crunchyroll. They're yeah. investing. Right. You know, uh, mm-hmm. Crunchyroll's uh, series this past season here was uh, yeah. Got a High School, and that's a Korean mm-hmm. production house. Mm-hmm. 
you know, yeah. and Netflix goes wherever it can find, you know, somebody to make the content they want. Right. So, and, yeah, so, and, I think I bust, that'll bust it wide open. Yeah, I, I, I believe God of High School was um, Japanese studio Korean creator. Oh. Wasn't it? I think. Well, I thought there were Korean credit, name credits in the tail end, um, but I didn't, oh, I didn't I'm, notice I'm whether it was. Sure there, I'm, sure, I'm absolutely sure there were. No question. Um but I believe they got um, yes, it's it's Mappa that is uh, uh, Masao Mariyama, founder of Madhouse. Um, uh, okay. They're working with Korean studios, I'm sure. Like you know, that's that's certainly a part of it. But I think they're kind of taking the overall direction on it. Um, but you're right. I mean, I, and, and I, I, to that point, you know how well, Korean Seon, Seon Park was the director mm-hmm. of it. Okay, there we go. He's, he is a Korean director. Okay, then there we are. Um, and. To that point, I mean, that is a Korean setting, right? Like, yeah. it wears its yeah. Koreanness on its sleeve. So I think it, it, it's making yeah. it a lot easier. Um, yeah, totally. Um, that'd be actually be very interesting to see if there's there's more, um, there's more international stuff coming out of this. Um, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty hopeful. I think it's going to be fun. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, you're obviously right, Manav. Japan has been outsourcing anime production for decades. Yeah. Um, so uh, they, they certainly have the, the skills, if not the, the industry infrastructure, so to speak, right? Obviously, they have the technological infrastructure, which is all the different pieces to transfer stuff around. One of the problems, actually, with this is the anime industry tends to have um, bespoke systems. So, like, everyone uses this one you know, Japanese piece of software to do all their editing in. So if you want to do editing, you got to use like this one piece of software that all, you know, 30 anime studios have licensed. So um, I think now that everyone's kind of used to all this, it's, it's you know, everyone's kind of hooked into all these systems. It's a little easier for folks to to uh, to be part of it and to, to produce. Um, we'll, we'll see. Who knows? Now, Brent, the, the Korean uh, Fox anime yobi yobi the five tail fox oh yes yobi the five tail fox i wonder if you if you took that production mm. and you made it at the dollar of netflix mm, mm-hmm. whether it would have mm. been more successful yep. Yep, 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 yep because yep. the technical capacity is completely there yep the story is completely there mm-hmm. but if you had had netflix that had paid for that mm. and then had it distributed through netflix you know what I mean? Yep. How would that have changed the fate of that film? Absolutely. I think you're absolutely right. Yeah. Um, and it's it's also just to, to the general you know internationalness of Netflix. Um, yeah. You know, and just the name. Uh, you know, this thing came from Netflix. Ooh, let's all pay attention to it. Right. Yep. Totally. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's a it's a real real thing. Um, uh, and fortunately, you know, Korea has has expanded their industry enough. To where I feel like you know they have enough to have a domestic industry. Um, sometimes that creates satellite girl and milk in milk cow, but sometimes <laughs> it creates you know Yobi and it creates um, strange uh, no, uh, wonderful days and all these amazing works. So you know that's the that's the nature of things. Right. 